Welcome back, everybody. Yep, she conducts educational programs and passenger trips along the eastern seaboard of the United States up into Canada and down to the Caribbean. That's right, but the schooner Virginia is so much more than a working, seagoing classroom. Hop aboard, everyone, as we are about to take a voyage on the schooner Virginia. That story is yours on this week's edition of Wreck on the Road. The wing gets coming straight from your beam, ship heels over, probably good 10, 15 degrees and good wind. Get cruising along eight or nine knots. It's like 10, 12 miles an hour. On a, on a ship this size, it's, it's, it's fantastic. It's the best feeling in the world. It's a ship made from wood and brass and almost entirely by hand. But if you look deeper into this seagoing vessel, you find that the schooner Virginia was made out of a love of our rich nautical history. Well, for this area, I mean, it goes way back, all the way to the earliest English settlers and even before that. You know, the Chesapeake Bay for hundreds and hundreds of years for the natives and for the Europeans once they arrived, this was their highway. So our roots date, you know, way back in the maritime history here. Complex angles shaved down by chisel and planers. The schooner Virginia took nearly two and a half years to complete. It first touched water in 2004. She was built in Norfolk, the most recent vessel to be built in, Nor a sailing vessel to be built in Norfolk in probably 80 or 100 years at that time. It's incredible. We carry 6,500 square feet of canvas and she'll do 14 and a half knots under sail. So it's a really neat uh, experience. We hold the record for the Great Chesapeake Bay Schooner Race from Annapolis to uh, Norfolk in 11 hours, 18 minutes, and 53 seconds. Not that I was counting or anything. Thousands of man hours went into crafting this recreation of its namesake, the Virginia. This schooner was designed using the blueprints that were used in building the original Virginia, which was used in the early 1900s to train apprentice pilots on seamanship and navigation, as well as ferry harbor pilots to steamships, which were entering the port of Hampton Roads. And much like that original vessel, our recreated vessel takes students out, mostly high school students, although we do offer some adult programs and day sales. My name is uh, Durier Decker Griffith. Uh, I got started on Schooner Virginia as a student. Ocean Classroom chartered the ship for four months, and I was lucky enough to be a high school student on board for that time. And uh, after the trip, I, uh, I applied for a job, and here I am. <laughs> yeah, I'm Charlie Hudgens. I'm a volunteer on the Schooner Virginia. Last year, I uh, had the experience of uh, sailing from uh, New London, Connecticut. Uh, from there down to uh, Norfolk uh, in September. It was exciting because that's the first time I've been out in the middle of the ocean, uh, uh, way about 80 miles off the, the land, off land, and uh, we had some fairly rough seas out there. The schooner Virginia plies the waters of Virginia and beyond with a purpose to preserve a seagoing way of life and provide a unique educational experience through adventure. So when we're sailing with students, it's a full immersion program. Those students participate in all aspects of sailing the ship. And that includes standing at the helm and steering like I am right now, climbing aloft, handling sails, navigating, but also some more mundane tasks like cleaning heads. You know, we've got 26 people that are living on board for multiple weeks at a time sometimes, and you've got to make sure that things get cleaned and get taken care of properly. So they participate in everything, and it's a great learning experience for them when they come and sail with us. For some of them, it's their first time being away from home. It's their first time cleaning a head or, you know, cleaning dishes or things like that. So it really is a unique opportunity to get these students away from home, away from their comfort zone, and challenge them in a way that they don't normally get challenged. Thank you, Captain Hank. As you know, this is, uh, if maybe you don't know, but this is Summer Camp Guide Week here on the Hampton mm -hmm. Road Show. And that ship right there takes students out all summer long and also volunteers. Anybody can go aboard. If you want to find out how, go to schoonervirginia.org. Imagine Beautiful. being a young kid spending a week or two on a ship like that. That would be an experience. It's a good education right there. Sure, and it's a good workout too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They work hard. <laughs> they work hard. And as Captain Hank said, doing everything from cleaning up mess to cleaning the heads. Yeah. Good experience for those kids. Absolutely.